What's up, it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys my product update, all right? Make sure you stay tuned, it's gonna be good. I got a couple of different products that I'm using. Uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned. First, let's get into the moisturizers and the pomade that I'm using, and just the grease in general. First, we got Curl Enhancing Smoothie, all right? I usually use this while I'm woofing. I use this a lot. The product um, actually does great on my hair, curling it. Uh, as, you, as you guys know, I did like a product review. I love the product, just a great product to curl your hair while you're woofing. I don't really use it on a low cut. Like now I'm not using it, I got a fresh cut. It's real low, so I don't use it as much. I only use it when I'm like two weeks woofing. Next product is 360 Style. All right, everybody be like, oh, man, it's not natural, 360 style, but this right here is gonna get you waves, man. Like, seriously, I I've been using this this whole time on my journey just to get the waves, but as far as using it consistently, I don't really use consistently. Once I get the waves in, I just go natural and just use natural products. And for the next product, I got Sweet Jamila. Sweet Jamila is probably the best natural product to put in your hair and it's just like dope because when you're about to step out and you want to use this product it gives your hair a nice shine especially on a fresh cut like it just smells good and it gives your hair a, a great shine it's not too heavy it's not too greasy the product really does good for my hair next we got seasick pomade all right seasick pomade i don't use from my whole head i only use it for my crown area because i really need my crown to lay down because sometimes i wolf my crown and i may not cut my crown as low as everything else uh so i need something i need a pomade that's really gonna lay my crown down so i really recommend this product for your crown area at least that's what i use it for next believe it or not believe or not I use Wavestorm you know I, let me show you guys I've been using it and you know this product actually smells good and it's really good like I recommend you have this in your arsenal I use it throughout my whole head occasionally it's, it's not like a pomade but it's like a pomade it's kind of it's kind of in between so I, I still recommend this product right here in your arsenal now when it comes to brushes I basically use them all in different ways. I use all the brushes. I really don't use a one particular brush, but we're gonna get into what brushes I use and how I use them and when I use them. The brush that I use on my crown area is this Torino Pro brush right here. The number is 6453, all right? You could, you could inbox uh, the Brush King on Facebook. He sells these brushes, you can get them on eBay. Uh, all you gotta do is type in Torino Pro. Yeah, these brushes right here for your crown area are dope, man. Like, because I'm going beehive, it's perfect for kind of like little, doing a little nitpick at your crown and just getting those areas that you want right. That's all I kind of use this brush for is to just kind of go around my crown area and it's been, it's been working real good. Next brush I use is the CQP. Now, when I use this brush, it's just for out of the mirror use because I'm just kind of brushing like this. I'm not really using a mirror. I'm only brushing the front part of my head and the back part. When it gets, when you get to a certain point in your waves where you gotta really pay attention, you kind of leave this back area alone for the mirror. Cause you know, you know what you basically know what angles to brush in the front area. It's, it's real simple. So that's what I use for this brush. I just brush the front areas of, of my waves and the back area down to the hairline, and down to the taper and all that. So that's what I use this brush for. Next brush, another CQP. All right, this, 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 this right here is your, is your house dog right here. You go, you go smooth in with this brush right here. It's big, covers a lot of ground, and it's just dope. I use this brush in the middle. I'm not really woofing. I'm not, it's not really a fresh cut. And it's just, you know, you go, it's that grow back stage. You're not really woofing and you're not really having a fresh cut. Next brush, all Diane's from here. It's all Diane's from here. I'm a Diane fanatic right now, all right? You got your mahogany, 
medium right here. I right hear you. It looks good already right now, this mahogany. It's kind of a, a medium slash soft slash premium. It's, it, it, for me, it's a soft premium. Next brush is the New School Diane. Right here, this is the New School Diane that they came out with. Um, I really feel like they didn't really do like they, I didn't, they didn't really give like a whole 100% on the new school Diane's because as you know, as you can see, the bristles on this one is so different from the bristles on this one. I feel like they used the old style of the brush and put the newer bristles in. That's what it kind of feels and seems like. Like the bristles on here feel real different and this is an old school Diane. The bristles are really different from each other. Like I said, it has like the new school Diane bristles in it with the old old school uh, handle on it so but I still love the brushes I still use both of these next brush when I'm woofing I use the Diane 815 Niz 9 all right this one right here I, ca I can't even touch my head on this one I'm, I gotta be woofing hard me and Nick you know me and Nick Wavy we're going on the journey and this is gonna be my go-to brush when we woofing. So when you see me with this brush, know that I'm getting it in and brushing like you wouldn't believe and woofing like you wouldn't believe, all right? Next brush is my Softy Diane 8169. This brush right here I use on all stages, fresh cut woofing when I wanna lay my hair down. It's just something about these bristles right here that's just, I don't know, I really don't know. Something about the bristles that really lays my hair down. Especially if you keep at it in one section, it's really gonna lay your hair down. This is my go-to brush for everything. And last but not least, we got the Kent brush right here. This, this Kent brush is the MN1B. I use this also when wolfing. I mean, I can use it right now, but it kind of hurts my scalp. I just really like the, the, the style and the quality of this brush right here. I mean, the brush is really, really expensive, you guys. I mean, it's really expensive, but it comes with a lifetime warranty. All right, a lifetime warranty. Lifetime. I mean, you can have it for life. You mess it up. You can get another one, brand new, for life. I mean, it's expensive, but for life. Your kids, 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 kids can be waivers using this brush, all right? It's a lifetime warranty. I'm gonna say that one more time. It's a lifetime warranty. I just wanna say that and address it one more time, and I'm gonna say it again and again and again. That it's a lifetime warranty. You might wanna invest your money in a lifetime brush. All right, I haven't said too much about this brush. I'm running out of breath, my mouth hurts. Mm. You guys ask me a lot about what shampoo I use and what conditioner I use. I really don't focus on shampoos like that. I mean, I will use any shampoo that's there, but currently I have this Axe shampoo and conditioner. Like, I just, I don't know. For me, it isn't about shampoo and which shampoo I use. I did, I just, as long as it fuzzes and, and gives me foam and, 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 and cleans my hair, I feel like it works. As far as the conditioner, I like to use cholesterol, all right? Doesn't matter which cholesterol, I know olive cholesterol is uh, pretty expensive, more than the, uh, the the one that starts with a K, I'm not sure. If you guys look at my other videos, you, you guys know what I used. Um, I usually don't use olive uh, cholesterol, but this one's pretty expensive, but hey, it works. It works for me. I like it. It came in a bundle package with, with the olive oil, little cream, you know? I decided to take it just because of this, you know what I mean? Because I couldn't find the rest, so. But yeah, this this is this gets my hair really soft after washing my hair. Um, sometimes I don't even wash my hair. I might use this as a co-wash and just put it in, rinse it out, and that, that could be my wash. All right, you two, this has been my product update video. This is what I'm using, all right? But one thing I wanna address to you all, all right, that keep asking me about what product I use, it really don't even matter, all right? What product you use don't matter what, what, what conditioner you use, it don't matter what kind of brush, how expensive it is. It doesn't matter what shampoo you use because in my wash video years ago, I used bar soap. The main thing that you need to do and the main thing that you need to do when you do it, and when you do it, you make sure you do it well, is brush, all right? That's the main thing you guys need to be focusing on. All these products and how expensive it is, you really don't need to get it. You need to put 
the brush to use and start brushing your hair, all right? But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and this is my product update video, all right? I'm out of here. Cheers!